Alright, what's up guys? This is Jake, and in this video I'm going to be showing you step by step how you can go ahead and add in products to your Shopify store. So all you need to make sure you do is that you already have your Shopify store set up and created, and then we're going to go ahead and start adding products. So if you don't have your Shopify store already set up, you can go ahead and click the link in the description to start your free trial, and once you go ahead and create the store, you'll be brought to this page right here, which is where we can go ahead and get started. But before we get into the video, I want to thank this video's sponsor, Tidio. Tidio is a live chat Shopify app that allows you to chat directly with your customers in real time. Having live chat as part of your customer support stack is very important in today's world of e-commerce. Messaging has quickly become one of the preferred ways for customers to reach out to businesses for support since a live chat is quicker than an email and easier than a phone call. So having this option available on your store is a must to optimize customer experience and to increase your conversion rate. The Tidio app is very easy to set up and you can have it up and running within minutes. Tidio also lets you connect your Meta Messenger and Instagram accounts so you can handle all of your messages in one place. Another powerful feature you can use with Tidio is an AI-powered chatbot, which is a bot that will automatically respond to customer inquiries based on what they ask. You can create your own custom chatbot, or you can choose from one of Tidio's many pre-made chatbots that they offer. Using an AI chatbot can save you time and customer support costs by automating simpler customer support inquiries that don't require an actual person to respond to. Tidio is the number one live chat app for Shopify with 1,300 five-star reviews in the App Store. So check out Tidio now by clicking the first link in the description. So let's go ahead and get into it here. So all you need to do is go over here to the product section right here on the left, and then we're just going to click on add products here in the top right and we're going to be brought to this screen right here so the first thing we need to do is put in a title for our product here so in this case i'm going to be adding a deck of playing cards as our product right here so that's going to be our title then we have the product description right here so the product description is going to be used to help obviously describe what the product is to the customer but also you can use the description to help with things like SEO so if you put um, relevant keywords in your description it's going to help your product to show up in Google for specific keywords so keep that in mind when you are editing your product descriptions so you normally want to take a good amount of time to edit your product descriptions to make sure that they have a lot of details in there and I do have a separate video on how to go ahead and do that but this is where you can go ahead and put in the description so in this case I'll just put in a couple basic things so when you're filling out your description you can put in text or you can also put in other things such as images by clicking insert image here or you can insert a video here as well or you can also insert custom HTML by clicking on show HTML so the next part of adding a product here is going to be the media section. So this is where we can upload pictures or videos of our specific product here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So you want to make sure when you're adding pictures and videos of your product that they're very clear and professional looking pictures. You want to make sure that they're not blurry or pixelated because when people are buying things online, the primary selling process is going to be extremely visual. So if you don't have good pictures, then your product is likely not going to sell very well. So if we go ahead and scroll down, we can see that the next thing we can do here is set up our pricing for our product here. So we can put in, let's say, a price for this deck of cards right here. And then right here, we can go ahead and choose what's known as a compare at price. So this is how you can go ahead and create a sale. So I'll go ahead and show you what this is really quick. So first, if we come up here and I just click active on product status real quick, and I'm gonna go ahead and save our changes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to preview this product right now. And we can see here that right now, it shows this product as $5.99, which is the price we set. But if I were to go ahead and make the compare at price $9.99, and then I click on save here and come up here and preview it once again. We can see that now it essentially creates a sale. Before it was $9.99 and, and now it is $5.99. 
So that's how you can go ahead and create a sale is by using the compare at price here. And then down here, you can choose whether or not you're going to charge tax on this product just by checking or unchecking this box. And then down here is your cost per item. So this can help you to determine your profit margins on your product here. So if you are making these products yourself, you could go ahead and put in how much it costs for you to make these products. Or if you're sourcing this product from somewhere else, you can um, go ahead and put in how much it costs to source this product. So let's say it costs us $1 to source these deck of cards and then we can see that it shows us that we are making a profit of four dollars and 99 cents at our current sale price so we have an 83.3 percent profit margin so this just helps us to see our numbers up front and determine good pricing for our products and moving down from here we can come down to the inventory section right here so first we have the sku so the stock keeping unit so this is where you can assign certain number and letter combinations to kind of keep track of your different products right here so if you do have an sku for each one of your products this is where you can go ahead and put it in and then if you have a barcode for your product as well you can go ahead and put that in right here and certain ad platforms such as if you're trying to run like google shopping ads are going to require a barcode so that's where this would be important right here right here you can choose whether or not you want to track the quantity of your products here so if you have a specific quantity in stock then you want to go ahead and track it right here and then you can also choose whether or not you want to continue selling when you're out of stock so if you want to keep selling when you're out of stock you can check this but we're going to go ahead and keep that unchecked and then right down here you can go ahead and take a look at your location so if you're fulfilling from a physical location like a warehouse you can go ahead and edit your quantities in here within the actual fulfillment center so let's say that in our warehouse we have let's say 100 new playing card decks in stock so now we have 100 in stock right there so you can go ahead and put 100 in this specific location right here and if you're not using a specific location you don't have to use this but if you are this is where you can go ahead and set it up this is where we can choose whether or not it's a physical product. So if it is a physical product, we'll keep it checked. If it's a digital product, you just get rid of it. And then we can go ahead and put in the weight of the product right here. And this is going to help us with setting up our shipping and things of that nature. And then right here, we can enter in some customs information right here. So you have to go ahead and enter this if you are shipping internationally. So in this case, you're just going to select your country of origin right here, which in this particular case would be the United States. And you can go ahead and enter the HS code as well for international shipping. Now down here, we have product options. So we can see this product has options such as size or color. So if I go ahead and check this right here, we can see that this is how we can go ahead and create product options now this product in particular doesn't have any options but let's say it did let's say we were selling one regular themed deck of cards and then another like special themed deck of cards right here so we could make the option here like theme and then we put in our options values here so so we have a regular deck of cards here and then we can go ahead and add another one and let's say our other one is themed like a space deck of cards we can go ahead and do that and then we can go ahead and add additional options if we want to as well but in this case we'll just have these two options right here and then if we wanted to add another option so let's say we had if we were selling for example like a t-shirt you could put in one option for sizes like small medium large and then you could put in another set of options for like colors like red green or yellow but in this case we're going to just stick with these two and then once you have your options set up we can come down here to our variants and we can choose to price our variants differently here so we can see down here at variants we can see we have the regular and the space theme and you can associate a different photo with each one of these themes by clicking right here and you can choose which one of your images here is associated with that theme so if we had a picture of the space theme we'd go ahead and put that right there we can choose to make one more expensive. So let's say the space theme is a little bit more expensive. So it'll be $6.99. We can adjust the specific quantity we have of each theme right in here. 
we can see that this was given a different SKU automatically and we could put in a different barcode as well in this particular case and that's how we can go ahead and edit our variants. So the last part of the product section that we need to take a look at here is the search engine listing preview. So this is what's going to show up in Google when somebody is searching for one of your products and your website is actually showing up. This is what's going to show up. So right here you have the title and then here you have the URL slug and then here you have the description. So when you edit this website SEO, you want to optimize it for two different things. So one, you want to make sure that the click through rate is high. So you want to make sure that it clearly states exactly what the product is. so People know what they're clicking on. And you also want to throw in a couple of keywords. So that way you can help let Google know what your product is actually about. So it can show it to people that are trying to search for your product. So this is where you can go ahead and enter information here. We can see that by default, the page title is going to be your product title. The meta description is going to just be the first part of your description. And the URL handle is just going to drag from your product title as well. So you'd want to go in here and edit your page title as well as your description to make it look very clean and SEO optimized as well. And I do have a video on that that I can link in the description as well. So that's how you can go ahead and add a product to your Shopify store here. And one of the last things you can go ahead and do is you can also assign tags to your products as well. So if I were to just click on tags and then just add cards, for example, so this product would be tagged as cards and we can go ahead and add it to a specific collection if we wanted to as well, or create a new collection for this particular product. And then once we've done all that, you just want to go up to your product status, click on active to make sure it's published and then click on save right here. And then once you've done that, you have successfully added a product to your Shopify store. So if you found this video helpful, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and I will see you guys in the next one.